Over we go to Canada this time. When you live in a place with no trees at all, hiding can be much harder. Take this fluffy eider duckling, for example. It needs to hide from this pack of hungry white wolves who are out searching for a meal. Luckily, Mum knows just what to do. She's taking her babies to the lake. The ducklings have never been there before, but they take to swimming, well, like a duck to water. Oh dear, it looks like one of the wolves has spotted them. You might think they're safe out there in the middle of the lake, but wolves are great swimmers too. The little ducklings are too small to fly. So it's up to Mum to save them. And she does it by playing a game with the wolves. It's called Catch Me If You Can. Her ducklings watch her deal with the wolf. All this splashing around makes the wolf follow her, while the babies duck, excuse the pun, out of sight. Well done, Mum. After all that running around, the wolf is puffed out. Off it goes. Time for a family reunion. We're going to a special lake in Africa now. Here in Lake Malawi, there's another animal mum helping her babies to hide. This fish is a real big mouth. Don't worry, I'm not being rude. That's her name, a big mouth hap. And she has a very strange way of hiding her babies from other hungry fish who want to gobble them up. She doesn't hide them in the rocks. She hides them in her mouth. Whenever she thinks there might be danger around, she opens wide and they swim straight inside. It looks like she's eating them, but she's just keeping them safe until the danger has passed. Once she's chased away all the hungry fish, she opens up, the baby fish swim back out again. Brilliant. Oh. <laughs> Hello, I'm Andy, and this is a baby peafowl, or chick. Now, we don't know if it's a boy or a girl yet. If it is a boy, it'll be a peacock. And if it's a girl, a pea hen. I'm just about to give it its breakfast. But in the wild, it'll follow its mum around and learn what to eat. Young animals have lots of clever ways to get their breakfast. Let's go to California in North America. Many animals rely on their parents to get breakfast for them. Like this sea otter pup. She and her mum are inseparable. But they can't play all day. It's time for breakfast. In you go, mum. Now it's pup's turn. She's not so keen. Her pup does know how to swim, but it's much nicer getting a ride with Mum. She'll have to swim on her own if she wants to eat, because Mum needs to dive down into the seaweed to fetch food. The young pup hasn't learned to dive yet, but she doesn't mind hanging around up here while Mum goes to rustle up some breakfast.
Sea otters love to eat shellfish like crabs, mussels and snails and all of them are covered in a hard shell. Before they can eat, Mum has to find a way to crack the shell. Pay attention now while Mum shows you how it's done. The side of a boat makes a pretty good shell cracker. The rocks aren't bad either. Mmm, seafood. Now it's time for her pup to try. She's got the right idea, but that wood is much too soft. So Mum shows her again. You see? Oh dear. Now the pup is using a rubber tyre. Well, that's even softer than the wood. This could take a while. Never mind, you won't go hungry. Mum will keep getting breakfast until the pup has learned how to crack open shells herself. Good old mum. Now we're off to Antarctica. From the top of the world to the bottom of the world. More baby animals are waiting to take their first swim in an icy cold sea. These are a daily penguin chicks. They live near the South Pole, where it gets really chilly. That's why they're covered with all those soft, fluffy feathers. To keep them warm. It's a bit like a penguin woolly jumper. Penguins get all their food from the ocean, so the grown-ups make regular fishing trips out to sea. Which means, if the chicks want to eat when they get older, they need to learn to swim first. Hang on, hang on. First you need to get rid of all those fluffy feathers and grow some waterproof ones, like this. Oops, missed a bit at the top there. Losing your last few baby feathers certainly makes for some crazy hairstyles. Right, now it's time for your first swim. But where to start? Don't worry, the grown-ups will show you how it's done. Penguins might be clumsy on land, but in the water, they're as graceful as a ballerina. Just look at them go! You have to swim fast if you want to catch fish. Right, chicks, that's how you do it. Now, who's first? Go on, somebody's got to go first. Is it going to be you? Oh, no, pushing now. Oops. In he goes. And that one. These rocks are so slippery that there's no turning back. The chicks have no choice but to dive in or fall in. Be careful now. Usually when swimming, you have to learn to keep your head above the water. But the penguin chicks have the opposite problem. They're really good at floating, so they actually have to learn how to sink. But it won't be long before these chicks are as graceful in the water as their parents. I'm not sure they'll ever be graceful out of the water, though. Whoops! Hey! In Antarctica, there are some babies that have a loud voice when they're still little. This ball of fluff is a penguin. He lives in a big group called a colony. These guys are chin-strap penguins. 
They're called that because it looks like they've got a black helmet strapped to their head. I think Mum must be off getting breakfast. Penguins like fish for breakfast and lunch and supper too. She's got to bring breakfast home to her chip. Hope she can find him again. There's so many penguins here. Luckily, our chick has got a very noisy call, especially when he's got an empty tummy. Here she comes. Oh, just look at her go. Right, just that big hill to climb. Oh. Um... Putting the colony at the top of a muddy, icy slope wasn't such a good idea after all. Whoops. Oh dear. Whoa, whoa. Wow. Oh. <laughs> it's a pity penguins can't fly. Come on, Mum. Get a grip. She's made it! Oh, well done, Mum. Now all she and the other mums have to do is to find their families again. Shouldn't be too hard. I mean, there's only 150,000 birds here. Um, uh, ah. Good idea, guys. Use that loud voice of yours. Over here, Mum! Everyone knows that mums have great hearing. <laughs> Penguin's ears are so good. Mum can pick out her own chick's call, even though everyone else is shouting too. <laughs> See? Clever mum has found them. Came straight to his pool. And now he can use that motor mouth for eating rather than shouting. 